Hi, welcome back. I don't know where I was going with it. I have had a Britney day. Um, and what that means is I have Britney moments and unfortunately this was my first day of work at, well it wasn't technically at my new school, um, schools, I'm split between two, um, but it was the new hire development day with the whole district and I somehow managed to find myself in the wrong room for close to an hour. Um, I didn't, well I felt, the whole time I was in there I was a little like I feel out of place because literally everyone next to me was a school psych um, and I'm not a school psych I'm a school counselor and like mm, feels wrong but before I went into that room I they gave out schedules and there wasn't a counselor specific one so I asked the lady working the tables hey uh, I'm a counselor I'm not exactly sure do we have like our own room or do I go to one of the other ones she's like oh yeah yeah you actually go to what they call them as related services uh, which is where I went I went to the related services room which happened to be all full of uh, school psychs and I don't know why but they didn't do introductions until like 40 minutes into a, like a few presentations and that's when when everyone started standing and saying my name's blah 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 and I'm the new school psych at blah 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 and there's literally zero counselors I got up and I was like I'm in the wrong room I'm in the wrong room and so then I showed up to my counselor meeting <laughs> which is all just counselors uh I, like an, at that point an hour late and yeah it was embarrassing but anyways <laughs> I'm home now and the moment is over. Hopefully I didn't miss anything too important in that first hour because <laughs> they were covering a lot of relevant stuff. Um, and now I'm just gonna, you know, do an Ipsy unboxing. I also have the cats in here and they are rowdy so you will see them in the background. I moved. I don't think I ever told you guys this. I think on Instagram, I don't even know if I did on Inst maybe? I'm not sure. I moved to Utah. So I'm not in Ohio anymore, um, which is why I had to get a new job, obviously. So that's kind of the backstory of my day today. Please tell me any like recent moments you guys have had of whatever you call them, but there's always a Britney moment somewhere in my week. Anyways, Ipsy time. I unfortunately didn't have an Ipsy box last month because um, I've been living in Utah. This is the August box. So I had the June, so okay, so my um, July Ipsy box got shipped out in June, and June's when I moved, and by the time I told them my new address, um, they had already done everything with like the uh, uh, shipping, um, what do you call them, labels, and for some reason it was like too much of an issue to switch it, so whoever was living in my old house that I was renting got a sweet little surprise this last month not looking because that's there's no fun in that the first i'm gonna pull out is the i'm gonna close this for now the ipsy glam bag this is 12 dollars a month if you guys are not familiar i think most of you are right now uh it has a faux snake skin print on it very neutral very classy inside is bright lime green i like that fun twist okay the first thing is by glow recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. I have had this before and I really like it, so thumbs up on that. And this is probably perfect for traveling. Let's see how much you get in here. Oh yeah, that is a good amount of product. I will definitely take that on a plane. I've somehow managed to find myself traveling a lot this last month. Um, probably because I don't live near anyone anymore. So I have been going on a lot of planes, which is rare for me because I hate flying. I hate it. It's so, like, it's just painful. Like, my ears, um, I forget. It's like mirrors or something weird that I think that I have. It just feels like I'm being stabbed repeatedly over and over. This last, like, couple of flights that I tried ear planes, I didn't, like, fix the pain but it did fix some of the like pressure. So I'm definitely using airplanes from now on. 
Next is Sparkling Liquid Eyeshadow Fard. Fard, F-A-R-D, is that a word? By the Balm. It's like a rose gold eyeshadow. I want to say I have something similar to this. I actually really found myself loving cream eyeshadows. And that's actually really pretty. <laughs> It has a nice gold sparkle to it, and I wear gold all the time. Like in my jewelry, I'm always wearing like yellow gold, as you can tell. I don't think I own anything. I think I will own one pair of silver earrings. I don't know what it is about silver, I just don't wear it. I like it on other people, I just don't like it on me. Which is odd because I feel like my skin tone... No, I don't know. Does my skin tone look better with gold? I don't have anything to compare it to. Um, um, Verso Facial Cleanser, and it has the number one on it. I'm assuming it comes like in a whole set. I've never heard of this before. Um, also a really great airplane size face moisture, not moisturizer, cleanser. And it's supposed to be gentle, which is good because my skin breaks out like crazy. But there does seem to be like a ton of ingredients in this. I've never heard of this. I will try it out because, again... I'm always looking for like travel size products because uh, when you fly like Frontier and those airlines, you can't actually, I mean you can, but for an additional fee, and I'm someone that flies like as cheap as I can, um, and I just have like a small carry-on. That's the way. I like to go, ooh, milk makeup. This is Lip and Cheek. If you guys saw my last video, I've been wearing all of Merit Beauty stuff and they have a cream blush like a bronzery blush is the color I got um it's like a dark terracotta color and I love it and I never thought I would love something like that and this is kind of giving me that same vibe it's just like a dark cheeky tint color I'm probably not going to use this yet because it does remind me a lot of Merit's and maybe I'll test it once I run out of that that way, that way I'm not like going through the same product at the same time. <laughs> I can save it. Save my um, wallet from repurchasing it. And then lastly by One on One Skin, Harley Street London. This is the Nocturnal Eclipse Recovery Cream, Nancy. Nancy. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of words going on here. It sounds like a nighttime cream though. I'm about to do research on this, but it sounds like it could do what I was looking for. Okay, that is everything in the glam bag. I want to say my favorite thing out of here is going to... Hi, buddy. It's definitely going to go to the eyeshadow because that's the most exciting thing for me um most practical thing i think is probably the milk makeup cheeker because i really love that you guys need to try the merit blush you can try all of it there's literally not a single product from them that i did not like and it's very natural the eyeshadow is actually staying really well when i'm like smudging right now the sparkles are going places but as far as the tint it's pretty much staying so i would consider that smudge proof okay on to ipsy bag plus which that's where you get your full size products and always the most exciting i say always the most i've gotten a lot of like one-off products in my ipsy glam bags that are full size and you're just like how did that get in here because like i want to say i got a hundred dollar uh, face cream in an ipsy bag once and i'm just like how oh, i love you okay let's pull out the bag first why does this remind me of a pickle is that just me that that's a pickle that's a cucumber pickle bag i think it's supposed to be uh, like representing a leaf or something but this is definitely my new pickle bag Ooh. Ooh, what's this? Murad, uh, step two, hydration, sensitive skin, soothing serum. That sounds like something for night. Let's read about it. Intensely hydrating serum. Wintertime, my skin needs that. Relieves dry, sensitive skin. 
actually I've been getting patchy on my I get like I don't want to say like a name for it my skin's just sensitive but now I'll get like patches where it's just like red and painful and like scaly um hi did you switch why do you smell <laughs> uh anyways what I was going with this is that right now like my chin is not doing the best um why do you smell is that like are you farting is that you look clean so anyways you're supposed to use this am and pm and um elbow your face neck and chest i never pull my skincare down here do you guys pull it down to your chest should i be doing that i feel like it's gonna go out like three times quicker uh because that's a lot of surface area but i didn't think about how much your chest actually ages and your neck I think ages quickest so I do usually bring it down to like my lines I don't know that's something I need to start thinking about um I guess I should actually open it though right um your typical Murad bottle what was it from this brand I want to say it's their acne dark treatment spot treatment but I really liked it had like orange on it I like this brand. I know I like this brand. And like I actually saw results with it. But it's so expensive. And by Doucet, Douce Posh Powder Palette. Ooh. There are a bunch of highlighter and cheeky colors in here. I was expecting an eyeshadow palette. You could use these as eyeshadows, but they are pretty. I would use all three of those and I would use the cheek ones too but on a daily I would use the highlighter oh gross I use oh hello <laughs> oh wow Ugh. seeing my skin up close um I used a face mask yesterday that oh my gosh wow I didn't realize how many <laughs> uh whiteheads I have on my face right now one two three four five and I didn't see a single one of them. They all just came out to play a second ago. And I have a weird sunspot right here. I don't see my skin in like natural lighting very often. And I do not like that. I just bought a new, it's like a snail face mask by some brand that has the word peach in it. I saw it at Ulta yesterday. And I was like, I'll try you. Um, it's supposed to be really good for acne. So maybe it just brought everything to the surface. I don't know, but like that's not normal. I mean, acne is normal. Having that many white heads at the same time is not, so it's a little concerning. Um, next is by, oh, another glow recipe. Ooh, this is the uh, Watermelon Glow Lip Pop. I have the entire watermelon line. I went through, I think everything but the moisturizer so far. Um, it smells delicious. I love that. I love this brand. Um, and when I say I have the whole line, I don't have this, so I don't know. I obviously don't have the whole line. I thought I did. Uh, this is a lip pop lip balm. And, oh. Oh, that smells so good. Battery died. Anyways, um, you can tell that it's just going to be a very, like, transparent. I'll just do it on. Yeah. You can't, I don't know why I'm showing it to you. You, you can't see it. It's just a clear gloss. Which is perfect because on a day to day, I just have cherry chapstick on. And I love the way this smells. This scrub to balm is concentrated with watermelon, coconut sugar, and flower AHA to hydrate smooth and tint lips with a pop of pink. No rinse necessary. So I guess it has, it did look like it had something inside of it, like a little bit of grit. I did not feel it when I had it on my skin though. That feels smooth to me. I'll find out though. Because I am a habitual chapstick user, um, my lips never get chapped, unless I'm not using chapstick. In which case they just start crusting and bleeding. It's just a nasty mess. <laughs> um, wow, Lauren Conrad has makeup? I thought she just had LC by Lauren Conrad Cools line. I did not know this. Um, this is an eyeliner in the color onyx so it should be just a pretty black which is what i use so let's hope that's the case okay that one's working yep oh. okay <laughs> oh it's a felt tip liner yes i love 
I love the pen eyeliners. I don't like liquid and I don't like pencil pen. That is where it is at. Although if you mess it up, you're just gonna have a, you're gonna have to keep going darker and thicker. Lastly, and definitely not least, um, this is by Tarte. It's the Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. I've had this many times. It is a good mascara. Um, it is, it, I feel like it dries quickly. Like it, it frustrates me because I like it. And then it never lasts that long. Um, and I love the case to it. It just feels a little more luxurious than a normal plastic one. Mm. Um, wow. Wowzers. Okay, let's just recap this real quick because that, I'm not saying the glam bag was bad by any means, but the glam bag plus blew that out of the park. I don't know what my favorite would be. I want to say just because of what I was wanting and most excited for the Murad uh, face product. But I think if I had to pick, I think I'm most excited for this lip balm. Mm, you're at first second though lip balm okay that's everything uh i hopefully will see you guys soon and i'm not sure what video i actually did just get a shein order of like their premium line um and didn't really like it so uh i haven't been like feeling up to f filming because uh, i still don't know how to style the outfit. i think if i knew how to style the outfits uh because i grabbed the box it just two thumbs down I'll try to figure that out and then do a little haul for you guys. But until then, I will see you later. And do you want to say goodbye? Okay. And Max, too, if any of you didn't see my last video, um, we have a new addition to the family. Okay, love you so much. Bye.